Hello friends, today we'll learn about types of clouds. You're playing here in the park. Ah, look up, the cloud Nimbostratus is there. I think it's going to rain. Wow, it started. Your umbrella will keep off the raindrops. All the clouds look different from one another. Sometimes clouds are puffy and white. Sometimes they're gray or dark. Sometimes they cover the entire sky. Clouds are made up of frozen crystals or tiny droplets of water. When warm air rises up, swells and cools, it forms clouds. There are many different types of clouds, each with a distinct shape and location in the sky. These are high clouds, cirrus, cirrocumulus, and cirrostratus. Their base is usually above 20,000 feet. Middle clouds, autostratus, autocumulus, and nimbostratus, their base is between 6,500 and 20,000 feet. Low clouds, stratus and stratocumulus, will base usually below 6,500 feet. And the vertical clouds, cumulus and cumulonimbus, which usually fits in all three categories. Let's study them one by one. Cirrus. These clouds are short, detached, hair-like clouds found at high altitudes. Cirrus clouds are normally white and predict a pleasant weather. When you see cirrus clouds, it means that a change in the weather will occur within 24 hours. Cirrocumulus. They are small, rounded puffs that usually appear in prolonged rows high in the sky. Hmm. The small ripples in the cirrocumulus clouds sometimes look like the scales of a fish. These clouds are usually seen in the winter season and indicate fair but cold weather. In the tropical regions, they may imply an approaching hurricane. Cirrostratus. These clouds are thin, sheet-like high clouds that sometimes cover the whole sky. Cirrostratus clouds are relatively transparent as the sun or the moon can easily be seen through them. They usually come 12 to 24 hours prior to rain or snowstorms. Autostratus. These clouds are gray or blue-gray mid-level clouds composed of water droplets and ice crystals. In the thinner areas of the clouds, the sun may be gloomily visible as a round disk. But be careful! If you see autostratus clouds, a heavy storm with continuous rain or snow might be on its way. Autocumulus. They are mid-level clouds that are composed of water droplets. They appear as gray puffy masses. If you see autocumulus clouds on a sticky warm morning, be prepared to see thunderstorms late in the afternoon. Nimbostratus. Nimbus is a Latin word meaning rain, and stratus means flattened. Nimbostratus clouds are mid-level, gray, flattened, amorphous, nearly uniform clouds associated with steady rain. They bring continuous precipitation that can last for several hours. Nimbostratus do not bring thunder and lightning. Stratus Stratus is used to describe flat, hazy, featureless clouds varying in color from dark gray to nearly white. Light mist or light drizzle sometimes fall out of these clouds. Stratocumulus. These clouds are low, gray, and puffy looking. Sometimes they line up in rows and other times they spread out in the sky. Rain rarely occurs with these clouds, however, they can transform themselves into nimbostratus clouds. Cumulus Cumulus clouds derive their name from a Latin word cumulo, meaning heap or pile. These are big, white, cotton-like, puffy and beautiful clouds. These clouds sometimes look like a cauliflower. Cumulus clouds indicate good weather. Normally, these clouds produce very little or no precipitation. Cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus comes from the Latin word cumulus meaning heaped and nimbus which means rainstorm. They're called the king of clouds 
because of their icy anvil-shaped top. As the name indicates, these clouds are associated with extreme weather, such as heavy torrential downpours, hailstorms, lightning, and even tornadoes. You can see that a cumulonimbus cloud is very dangerous. Oh, how can I forget about a few special types of clouds? These clouds may be either naturally formed or the result of human activity. Hmm, they are mammatus clouds, lenticular clouds, fog, and contrails. Let me explain about these two. Mammatus clouds. These clouds are low-hanging bumps that droop from cumulonimbus clouds. Mammatus clouds are usually associated with harsh weather. Lenticular clouds. They're caused by a wave wind pattern formed by the mountains. They look like flying saucers. Sometimes bright colors are seen along the edge of these clouds, which makes them comparable in appearance to a lens or saucer. Fog. This is a special type of cloud that touches the ground. It usually resembles stratus clouds. It is made up of water droplets that forms on or near the ground level. The greatest problem with fog is visibility. You cannot see anything clearly in fog. Due to this, fog creates dangerous driving conditions and has been the cause of a high number of accidents. Contrails. Contrails are white and gray line-shaped clouds formed behind aircraft in the sky. These man-made clouds are constructed from the condensation built where the hot air from the jet exhaust mixes with the air in the environment. Hmm, let me tell you something very interesting. Most of the clouds' names come from Latin language and are usually a combination of these suffixes and prefixes. Stratus, strato, meaning flat, layered, smooth. Cumulus, cumulo, meaning puffy, heaped up. Cirrus, or cirro, means wispy and high up. Alto, mid-level. Nimbus, or nimbo, meaning rain-bearing cloud. When you combine these names, you can often build up that cloud's character. Hmm, let's say stratocumulus. Stratus means flat, layered, and smooth. Cumulus means puffy and heaped up. So, you can say a stratocumulus cloud is flat, layered, smooth, puffy, and heaped up. Friends, do you know why clouds are usually white? Or why they darken and turn gray? It's all about how sunlight interacts with the contents of a cloud. Light from the sun starts out white, but it becomes scattered by particles in the sky. Atmospheric particles in the sky scatter away blue light more than other colors, which gives the sky its blue appearance. As light passes through a cloud, it interacts with bigger water droplets, which scatter all colors of the spectrum of light almost equally. Remember, when you mix all these colors, it becomes white. This means that the sunlight continues to remain white, making the clouds appear white against the background of a blue sky. Clouds appear gray for the same reason they turn white. Light is normally scattered upwards or to the sides of clouds. This makes the tops and sides of clouds whiter than the base, which receives less light. When you see a rain cloud, the gray color is more noticeable because the droplets are even bigger and scatter more amount of light. This less light reaches the base of the clouds, which gives them gray color or sometimes even darker colors. Hmm, let's revise the names again. High clouds, cirrus, cirrocumulus, and cirrostratus. Middle clouds, autostratus, autocumulus, and nimbostratus. Low clouds, stratus and stratocumulus. And the vertical clouds, cumulus and cumulonimbus. Oh, this cumulonimbus cloud is going to burst. Rain is starting. As you know, this cloud is capable of producing lightning and other dangerous weather, such as hailstones and tornadoes. You should go home, buddy. 
A rainy day is the perfect time to submerge yourself in a good book, or you can do your favorite indoor activity. Try to stay at home for your safety. Now you know a lot about types of clouds. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.